So it must have been Thursday that the Pew report was released, and the name of that report, of course, is One in 100, that one out of every 100 adults in the U.S. is behind bars. That is to say, 1% of the entire adult population is behind bars. Of course, there were some very interesting aspects of that uh, uh, report, namely, um, it disputed the assumption that undocumented immigrants commit a disproportionate amount of crime. As a matter of fact, uh, you'll see that undocumented immigrants uh, commit far less crime than so-called citizens. Maybe that's a part of what it means to become a citizen uh, uh, <laughs> of this country. But we know now that there are something like 2.3 million people behind bars. And here in California, over 170,000 uh, prisoners in facilities that are designed to hold 100,000 um, prisoners. Uh, California uh, no longer has the distinction of being the largest, uh, having the, the largest prisoner population in the country. It's now, Texas has a few more. I don't know, a couple of hundred more. Um, but here in California, every single one of the 33 prisons is now over capacity. If you look at every single one of those 33 institutions, you find that the population ranges from 139% to 249% over capacity. Now, the governor, um, uh, <laughs> Governor Schwarzenegger assumes that the only way to solve this problem is to build more prisons. And right now, you may, if you're following the story, you know that something like 53,000 more beds are supposed to be produced within a relatively short period of time in order to avoid having the whole system placed in federal receivership. I mean, you know that the health care um, system is now no longer under the auspices of the Department of Corrections. I refuse to say rehabilitation. I'm going to still, I'm going to still say department. Well, it's not even corrections. Uh, 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 the the um, the healthcare system is is in receivership already, and the whole system can be placed in receivership. Uh, the state is already spending. Some say $10 billion, some say $8.8 .8 billion. But when you think about the prison building binge in this state that has already demonstrated that the more prisons are built to solve the problem of overcrowdedness, the more overcrowded those new prisons will become, the solution always further contributes to the problem. And if you ask, why is that the case? Well, for one, it draws resources away from education and housing and health care and all of those services that might prevent people from being tracked into the direction of imprisonment. So the construction of more and more prisons is inevitably going to lead to larger and larger imprisoned populations. Now, the Pew Report, uh, which we've been talking about, um, um, reveals that while one in 100 adult is behind bars, those numbers actually skew the exact, the, 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 the real situation because there's a, there's a, there, there, there's a, 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 a racial factor here. Um, for black males between the ages of 20 and 34, one in nine is in prison. So you take that one in 100 and one in nine, and you can see who is behind the bars and the federal and the state prisons and the county jails and the 
and the military prisons uh, in this country.